Doesn't need to cook very much on that side, but that is exactly the way I like it. And then I'm going to show you the best part of this whole, this whole methodology of mine about cooking bacon and eggs. Good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch. You know what this means. Today, I want to show off in what seems to be the growing trend of kitchen equipment. I finally got that, uh, that new frying pan that I've been waiting for from Amazon to replace the Ozeri 12-inch ceramic coated pan from Germany, which I've been using for the past couple of years and really enjoyed. This thing costs about $10 more, so I ordered it, assuming that maybe it was even a little better, and it's gorgeous. The quality of this thing is just tremendous. The heat transfer plate, the thickness of it, it's got a good weight. It's got a all-metal insulate handle that, that basically doesn't conduct heat from the pan, so it stays cool. That allows you to put it in the oven up to like 450 degrees if you want to oven finish something in it. Hey, we're going to give this a little test today. So I'm going to put it on the burner here and turn it on. And it says for the first 30 seconds that it's hot, you're supposed to, well, they call it season it. They say just wipe a little olive oil on it. So we're going to let that pan get hot and, uh, <clears throat> wipe a little olive oil on it. In the meantime, I'm having bacon and eggs. So let's get start getting the food ready. And before I did wash the pan out thoroughly with, uh, with hot soapy water. And we'll season it up like it's said to. I'm just in the process right now of editing that long video from the uh, the Z-Star air fryer, and since I shot that yesterday, I haven't changed I haven't changed my mind about it at all. And all of that stuff that's in my dining room or was in my dining room table is now loaded in the back of my car. And as soon as I'm done here, I am going to take it over to Goodwill and unburden myself. So let's take just, I don't think we need a lot, just a tiny little bit of olive oil and rub it around in the pan. They said, make sure you get the sides. And I think that's all there is to it. And if it's not, it's gonna to have to do. Perfect. Okay, now put some bacon in this thing. I expect that it, it's going to come out just as good, if not better, than the previous pan, but we're, we're just going to check it out here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is almost a quarter inch thick. Man, you got to love this stuff. Okay. Two. Three. It seems that my kitchen-related or cooking-related videos and appliance or kitchen utensil videos <clears throat> have a much broader range of interest than my philosophical or biological carnivore-related videos. So I'm probably, if that's what everybody wants, I'm probably going to do more, more of that stuff. Unfortunately, I can't be buying a new air fryer every day just to make a video about, but uh, I'm going to try to come up with some more simple, easy to clean up after, low ingredient count, types of ways to prepare 
the same food if you need that little variety between you and me. I'm uh, pretty content just to eat the same damn thing every day, cook the same way. I think that's what happens to you after, you, after you've been on, on the carnivore lifestyle for at least a year like I have. I, I've talked about that many times that the, uh, the whole mindset just changes. It, uh, you become more satisfied without the variety, with the, with the uh, smaller and smaller range of different foods you eat, much like, and I've said this before, every animal on the planet that is not actually looking for variety for excitement's sake or boredom's sake is they just know this is the food this is my food this is what i eat i don't care to eat that other stuff maybe some other animal does but not me and i think that uh, that's the natural biological mindset of a carnivorous animal and that all the other stuff, the, the plant stuff, the fruits, the, is either a, is either been around naturally in some form and kind of uh, played a role as a survival food when the preferred food couldn't be found, or it's a man-made chemical concoction of crap designed like drugs, like cocaine, like all these other drugs, to addict you. And basically has, other than sugar, which is not nutritional, it's just energy value, has no nutritional value whatsoever. And as much as, as addiction things go, addiction things light up the pleasure center of your brain, so your, your brain wants more of them. That mechanism was put there initially to reward us if we did the right thing. And of course, like everything else, it's been prostituted by companies and corrupt people to addict all of us to a very highly profitable and widely consumable. I mean, you can you can addict a two-year-old to sugar, but the drug dealers can't addict two-year-olds to cocaine. So, being as it's a socially acceptable drug, they got us. And I think more and more of us are beginning to realize that. But once you're an addict, the transformation off of, off of that is uh, proven to be next to impossible. Little Redmond's real salt. Excuse me while I beat my eggs. Now. I wanting to talk to everybody about a particular comment that I keep getting at least one or two of on every one of my videos where I cook my breakfast like this. And you may notice that I put a paper towel down on my plate and when I first take the bacon out of the pan, I put it down on the paper towel. Now I don't, I don't blot it anymore but I do put it on the paper towel. And I get, I get scolded by some of you for letting some of the grease that's on this greasy bacon in the pan actually not end up in my stomach. That as if I'm in some respects being sacrilegious. Now, I showed you that this bacon, before I say that, let me just say that 
the things that I do, I, I've been doing them so long this way. I've tried every other way. This is the way that I like it. I like my eggs well done. You may not. I like my bacon to be blotted a little bit on a paper towel. Because in a quarter inch thick piece of bacon, there's still loads of fat. And that way when I pick it up in my fingers, it's not dripping. I think you all have good hearts, but the old saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I can learn a lot of stuff, but the way I do things, you can rest assured, is the way that I've grown to like things. People tell me, you shouldn't be cooking your bacon in a frying pan. It comes out better if you, and then fill in the blank with 10 other ways to cook bacon. This is how I like to cook bacon. There's reasons why I do it this way. If I was feeding a family of four, yes, I'd probably cook a whole package of this bacon in the oven at one time. But I'm cooking four slices of it, and if I cook four slices of it for just me, then I would have another, I would have an oven to heat up, I would have, or an air fryer to heat up, I would have another, another greasy pan to clean up, whereas so far my bacon and eggs is a one pan meal. So that's why I cook it in a pan. The next bit of advice or complaint that I get is why do you pour the grease down the drain out of the frying pan? You should leave it in there and just throw your eggs into the grease and mix the eggs up with the grease. Well, if you happen to like greasy scrambled eggs, that's a great, uh, a great suggestion. I don't. I like a hard omelet because the egg itself if you, if you remember has 50 percent of it is fat by weight in the yolk especially so there's enough fat in the egg without me throwing a ton of bacon grease in with it but i do want to cook my my egg in in a little bacon grease just not this much bacon grease so what i do is I don't throw my grease from the pan down the drain. I have this. And this filters the grease and leaves me with so much bacon grease that I don't know what to do with it all. So occasionally I actually have to take some of this and store it somewhere else or throw it away. But I don't throw grease down the drain. I wouldn't do that. But I appreciate the people that tell me that it'll clog the drain. So the next thing that everybody corrects me on, on cooking my bacon and eggs, <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I think you guys are great. And I know you're all trying to help and every time I get one of those comments, I type out a, I have to type out a reply saying, I do it because of this, I do it because of that, which means I have to kind of almost be defending myself for the way that I like to do it. But here's what I do, see, just so you know, I take and I pour not all of it, but most of it. Then I wipe the pan on the edges so it doesn't burn on a hot burner. I usually take a second and wipe around the burner. I put the pan with the remaining bacon grease back on it. Then I put the egg in. And the, the neatest part of this, and there is a strategy to this because sometimes the things that look the most simple are, are maybe the things that are the most well thought out. And
I have done this almost every day with this bacon and egg stuff for more years than I would care to remember. So now I want you to notice that I don't blot it all off. I just take it. And yes, I did miss out on eating that much grease. But I am getting more than an adequate amount of fat from the foods that I eat the way I eat it. And I'm never saying to any of you that the way I do this is exactly the way you need to do it, especially with eggs. There are so many different ways to make eggs, and in each of those ways, there's so many different doneness levels and seasonings, and whether you like pepper or not. So everybody has to, has to uh, do the stuff to, to their own taste. But I thought I'd try to cover, and I don't guess everybody's going to watch this particular video and hear this message anyway, so I'll probably continue to get people telling me how I made a mistake and I should have done it this way, that way, or the other way. Oh, it broke. That's not a fault of the pan. That's because it was only four eggs and not five or six eggs, so it was a little thin. All right. hate it when that happens. There you go. Okay. Now, it's about the time I shut it off. Doesn't need to cook very much on that side, but that is exactly the way I like it. And then I'm going to show you the best part of this whole, this whole methodology of mine about cooking bacon and eggs with, with a minimum of muss and fuss. And if you give me a drum roll, please, I will show you what I mean. There. I'm done. I will wash it with a little water, but you don't even have to. Any grease is in the fridge to be saved. The rest of the grease that was in the pan is in the omelet. The pot is clean. Other than taking these eggshells and throwing them in the garbage, I got nothing else to do. And with that, I'm going to end this video and tell you all to take the rest of the day off. Eat meat.